Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. So today's video going to be an update on that Bitmainet miner, the E9 Pro, the ETC miner. Just did that video yesterday, not expecting to see the specs for another week or two. We got them the very next day. So we have the price, we have the specs, we have the release date. We got it all already. So we're going to be going over that. We're going to look at profitability. We're going to compare it to the competition and see if it looks good, right? So if that sounds inter interesting, guys, stay tuned. So let's get right to the vid. And bam, right to the menus we wanted to see. So the big glaring thing, which is crazy, is the price. This is not a typo. That is the price, $12.99 for a full-size Bitmain ant miner. It's crazy. 1300 bucks okay that is insane for 3680 mega hash two years ago we were paying that much for a 3070 which only did 60 mega hash it is like mind-blowing right you would have told me two years ago that this guy would be coming out at that price would have laughed in your face right but here we are Crazy, 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 especially for all of us GPU miners. These are crazy, crazy stats. The efficiency, the price, the size of the unit, the scale of it. Insane. Anyways, let's get to the stats, though. So $1,300, 3,680 mega hash at only 2,200 watts. Okay? And this thing is coming out now. They are not wasting time. Sales are starting on the 3rd, and it's going to be shipping within 7 days. Okay, so that is coming out on the 3rd. So two days away, 11 o'clock Eastern. Okay, looks like they're going to have plenty of units up for sale as one customer can order up to 50. Okay, so let's look at the profitability. Okay, we throw it in the crypto cal calculator. We have everything set up there and this is based off of 10 cent kilowatt hour. Okay, so your profitability as it stands is almost five bucks. It's pretty insane for a thirteen hundred dollar miner. Okay, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So now let's compare it to the competition. Okay, as there's a lot of ETH hash algorithm miners now. So let's compare right off the bat to the previous model, the E9. Okay. The hash rate was 2.4 giga hash, right? In comparison to this guy's 3.68. So that's a 50% increase from the previous E9 for only 300 watts more power. Okay, so a very, very nice efficiency gain in comparison to the previous model. Something that is different this time, though, is that they did not destroy the competition as what's been the case with these other miners. Okay. Jazz Miner actually still has them beat as far as the efficiency goes, which is pretty interesting. Okay, we look at the efficiency here, it's 0.598, right? More efficient than the previous E9, but now let's compare it to the competition. Okay, so this is the X41U. This is a much scaled down version, obviously, but 520 mega hash at only 240 watts. This has a 0.462 efficiency. Okay, let's look at a bigger guy. 2.5 giga hash. This is only 1200 watts. This is 0.48. So even this guy is more efficient, right? The biggest glaring difference though are the prices. Okay. Yes, this is more efficient, right? But look at these prices also. 1400 bucks. This is more. And this is making what? About one seventh of the hash rate. Keep that into consideration. Okay, the X4, same thing. Again, these are based off of, these are older models from November 21, right? So again, the efficiency is better, even back then, but look at these prices, okay? Nobody's buying these things at these prices, but this is what it was listed at. So now let's compare it to the latest model from Jazzminer, which has not been released yet, yet doesn't come out until May, okay? But the efficiency really freaking good 1.84 giga hash at only 630 watts for a 0.34 efficiency 
Okay, so even comparing it to this guy, it's almost twice as efficient. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty interesting that Jazz Miner hasn't beat. But the biggest, biggest thing is the price. So again, this guy does not release until May, but this guy is almost three times as much. Okay, at this point, to me, the better buy is going to be this Bitmain model. Okay, yes, this guy is more efficient, but you're getting twice the hash rate, right, for a third of the price. Okay, you really got to factor that in. It's just the price. But keep in mind, this price is based off of this E9 Pro not existing. Okay, this is the benefit with competition and, you know, these guys being so cutthroat is that it's going to force them to bring their price down because they have to be competitive, right? This price was sort of going to make sense based off of what it was, you know, going to be able to do, especially in comparison to the competition. But now this guy, the, again, the biggest thing is the price of this guy. The price of this guy alone is going to force them to bring the price of this guy down quite a bit. Okay, so it's something to factor in because your profitability is about the same. Yes, it's more efficient, but it's because of the hash rate on that one. But keep in mind that in the bull market, you're going to be having that thing pump. You're going to want to make as much as you can, right? So there's, these are things you got to factor in. Yes, the efficiency is so much better here, but it's the price. Okay, so hopefully this does force them to bring their price down. Maybe they go down to like 2000 bucks, and that would make it more appealing. But it's really going to be dependent on them. And it's also going to be dependent on the price, the actual street price of the E9 Pro. Okay, because as we've seen, a lot of the times it's very difficult to get it at this MSRP. Okay, reason being is that lately, as we've seen with like the K83 and the first batch of the K7, they sold out within 30 seconds. So this price almost became irrelevant because of demand, right? So if we have the same scenario with this one, yes, it's only 1300 MSRP, but if the thing sells out and the demand is there, maybe, you know, depending on the actual demand, it might go as high as like 2500, 2700, 3000 making this guy potential better buy, right? But again, we just don't know how many they're going to release, what the street price is going to be. Um, if it's something you're bullish on, if that makes sense to you, then it might be something you want to get earlier than later because one thing we have noticed is that if you think it's a good price, typically the first initial prices from these third-party websites or these vendors is like an increase from here. It's, let's say, 15 20% more than this price, Right? But you're kind of rolling the dice based on how this is going to go. We don't know if it's going to sit or if it's going to sell out in 30 seconds. But if to you, if this looks good, you like the price, maybe it's only 15% more from your favorite third party vendor, that might be the way to go, right? Because if you wait afterwards, right, this thing does sell out in 30 seconds, the prices are going to increase, right? Just like we saw with the KA3. Okay, like I had bought mine before the official Bitmain release. Okay, I bought mine through, I think it was BT Miners, and it was like a 15% increase from the MSRP. But that was prior to the thing selling out in 30 seconds. Because then that the very next day, what happened to that, that street price? Everybody shot it up 30%. Then it went up 40%. And then now we see where it's at. The MSRP on that thing was 5300 bucks. Almost every place has it listed at double. Right. So that is something to factor in. Um, again, this is the MSRP, but are we really going to be able to get it at this price other than the maybe the lucky few if it does sell out quickly? We don't know. Right. Time will tell. But we're going to find out in about two days. Right. So, again, at this price, super appealing. At the twenty five hundred dollar price, not so much, at least for me. Right. Even if it's a little bit more, fifteen hundred bucks, sixteen hundred bucks, for making almost five bucks a day, and this thing is going to be shipping now, not you know five months from now. Pretty pretty good deal, 
right? Especially because of, I like these size miners too, like this whole wattage size, this range, the 2200 watt range. I like the fact that on a 30 amp circuit, you can run one full size guy and this guy on one circuit if you're limited on space, right? Like me, for example, I don't have a huge amount of space. I have three 30 amp circuits. So my space would be limited for full-size miners, right? But I like the fact that I can run one full-size guy. I could run my K3, and if I were to get one of these, I could put those on the same 30-amp circuit because, again, that's my limiting factor. If I had, you know, six or more 30-amp circuits, I'd be picking up these S19J Pros, right? But, again, everybody's case is scenario. Just something to kind of point out and something to keep in mind. Um, the one spec they didn't give us, I forgot if I mentioned in the beginning, was the RAM size, right? Whether it's going to be 6 gigs, 7 gigs, 8 gigs. I did ask, didn't get an official answer from Bitmain. Somebody commented that it looks like it was going to be 7 gigs, but no confirmation. Didn't hear anything from them officially. Um, they typically don't respond too well. The last few times I've asked questions on Twitter and emailing them, never even got a response, so... Don't really know there. So if that's important to you, as far as the for uh, you know DAG sizing and such, that's something to keep in mind. You might want to wait until you get official confirmation. But something to keep in mind there. But again, guys, just wanted to give you that update and the fact that it's coming out super super soon. Again, was not really expecting this, but it is coming out in two days. Thirteen hundred bucks, one hell of a deal in my opinion, especially if you can get it at that price, right? Time will tell if that price will remain. Who knows? It might end up sitting, but most likely, just based off of the price alone, it's probably going to sell out super quick, right? It's super, super appealing, right? A full-size Bitmain Ant Miner for $1,300. Crazy, right? All right, guys, so just want to give you that update. That way you can stay up to date on things, and that way you can make your own decision if it's worth it or not. Right, especially for you guys who are bullish on it, or if you're not, still appealing because of this price alone, right? So, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys, and I am out.